I just want to kick it by saying, I ain't got to clear my name 24 hours of attention. Lay it to rest. Let's go. <laughs> hey, y'all. When Megan's playing, you know we're in the hot girl mood. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Michaela, and welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you've been following me for a little bit of time, you would know I'm kind of going through like a rebrand. In this new season of my life, I'm definitely in my self-care, hot girl, it girl era. Or at least trying to be, because we're gonna fake it till we make it. Fake it? Yeah. Until we make it? I mean, why not? It's either <laughs> that or cry myself to sleep. Who wants to do that? And through my rebrand, I've definitely been focusing on the things that kind of make me happy and make me feel good. And so I want to share with you guys all the products that have kind of contributed to my hot girl era. Because you know, we don't gatekeep around here. If you want to know where anything's from, like I'll give you a link, I'll give you a coupon code. Before we get started, don't forget to follow me on all my social medias like my Instagram and my TikTok because it is always a fun time around there. And with that being said, if you guys want to see my favorite products, products you need, hot girl edition, keep on watching. The first category we have to start off with is definitely scents. I am somebody that I can have my nails looking crusty, my hair looking dusty, no makeup on, but if I smell good, I feel confident. And I feel like being a hot girl, being an it girl, it all stems from confidence. So we got to get our smell goods in order. My favorite body wash at the moment has been this scent. This is by Philosophy. It's the crispy marshmallow bars. I get all my Velocity scents from TJ Maxx But what I really like about the scents is that I feel like they all smell really good really authentic Like I said, this one is in the scent crispy marshmallow bars and it smells exactly like that It smells like a gooey yummy buttery marshmallow rice crispy treat, but it doesn't smell like so sickeningly like that. I've definitely tried some body washes in the past that when I smell it, it almost smells too buttery or just too artificial that I'm not really vibing with it. This one has a nice undertone of vanilla, so it kind of smells more mature and it lasts really long. I've tried a bunch of scents from Philosophy. I really like this one. Coconut frosting one, that one's really good as well. And then my all-time favorite scent, their Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere. That one is perfect. But yeah, Philosophy body washes, top tier. Okay, I just want to do a public apology. Like this is my YouTube apology video. Oh my God. Time and place. And you did it at my birthday. I need to apologize to Miss Rihanna herself. A lot of my friends go to me for advice. A lot of you guys ask me questions in my comment section, especially when it comes to products. And so when this product launched, everyone and their mothers asked me how I felt about it. And I told everybody it was mid as hell. And it is this, it is their Fenty Skin Body Butter. And I just remember when I first got it, I just wanted to try a little sample size. So I got a really small pot. And maybe because I was only trying the travel size, take like a little bit and apply it. And so maybe I wasn't using it adequately, but I just really did not get the full effect until I got the full size and being transparent Rihanna did send this to me <laughs> Okay, hold on, let me back that up. The Fenty team did send this to me, but they sent it to me in PR, so I'm not getting paid, nor did they ask me to talk about it. But when I got the full size, I was like, okay, let me give it an honest, truthful go around. When I say I'm obsessed with this product, it is so good at making your skin just so buttery soft. They call this thing a butter drop for a reason. It will melt and emulsify into your skin like butter on a stove. That's how this feels. Like you'll see the cream go on and then it'll just melt into this beautiful buttery shine. This one kind of smells like a cinnamon vanilla gingerbread cookie. So it smells beautiful It leaves you with the most glistening shine. You look super hydrated I don't know what else I could ask for in a body butter moving on I'm gonna talk about my number one most complimented perfume This is the it girl perfume like if you put this on a million people are gonna ask you what you're wearing It's actually insane. It is Valentino born in Roma I have worn this scent to so many big milestones in my life just because it's one of my favorite perfumes And so whenever I smell it, I have such a strong scent memory attached to it. Oh, I actually want to cry because this was what I wore my freshman year of college. I just love this scent and it definitely holds such a special place in my heart. But other than my own personal attachments to it, I have so many outside people ask me, what am I wearing? I've had people go and add this into their Sephora cart in front of me wanting to know what is the exact name of it because it is that good and it's that strong. This is such a strong scent that it's so perfect to wear if you're going to like a party or a club or anywhere where there's going to be a lot of scents going on and you still want to project and be kind of noticed in it, girl. If you want to be that girl that's standing out in the crowd with their scent, like this is such a good one to pick. I've sprayed this on coats, hung it up, and came back like two weeks later and my coat's still smelling like this. Really heavy, strong floral scent, but it has this very deep, sexy scent to it, like very sensual. This is just what a bombshell would wear. Very hot. This is my favorite perfume. Ooh, a new product that I've been using recently is this body oil. I got sold this by TikTok Shop. This is by Soothing House. 
house. It is their coconut cream pie body oil. I got this on TikTok for like 11 bucks, which I feel like is so good for how much product you get. I wouldn't really say it smells like a coconut cream pie, but this definitely has remnants of it. It smells very buttery to me. It kind of smells like a buttered popcorn. It has a very faint coconut scent. Definitely pick it up, but it's very light. I feel like it pairs really well with a lot of the vanilla scents that I wear. This really brings out this sweeter tone to it. And then for the oil properties of it, so good. Another 10 out of 10. It makes my skin so smooth, so glowy. So it's such a thick oil too. And it is strong. Like people will be able to smell it on your skin later. Last but not least in the scents category, you are definitely going to need a good scrub. I feel like I really don't even need to talk about tree hut scrubs on my channel anymore because it's like branded on my forehead. Like you would think I own tree hut by the way that I talk about them so much. I absolutely love the tree hut scrubs. I love scrubs in general, just any good scrub that you can find. I think it is so important to exfoliate your skin before you shave, if you like to tan, if you get dry skin or flaky skin. So many benefits to exploiting your skin and the tree hut ones are just my favorite. This one is their vanilla scent. I used to not really like this scent, but it's kind of growing on me. As you can see, I use it a lot. Also, they just have the most amazing combination of being really exfoliating, but not being too exfoliating. I really like the Dove ones, but sometimes they're a little bit too soft. And I've tried some scrubs and stuff like the Onyx ones. And to me, those are way too rough on my skin. So this is a nice in the middle. The next category that we're going to go into is hair. When I think of that girl, my mind immediately goes to the hair. You guys have seen it. That voluminous, bouncy, silky hair is really making a comeback. And now it is easier than ever to get that salon perfect hair at home thanks to the sponsor of today's video, Lux. Today, I'm going to be discussing the Lux Airwrap Pro 2. And if this little gadget looks familiar to you guys, it's probably because I have talked about it on my channel so many times, even well before they've contacted me and sponsored me. I have been showing this little device because I think it is so cool. It gives you the most amazing hair and it is a fraction of the price. The Lux Air Pro 2 has completely changed the way I style and dry my hair in order to prevent heat damage. All while still creating the most amazing curls. And it's super easy to use. So the way that you use this bad boy for stunning curls is you're first gonna wanna start off by prepping your hair. I like to start with clean, wet hair so that I can wear my curls throughout the week for as long as possible. I take my pre-styling blow dry attachment head to dry my hair about 80% before styling it. You wanna ensure that your hair is not too wet or else the barrel won't really grasp the hair properly. So you're gonna take the curling attachment and carefully allow the hair strand to grip the barrel. Once the ends start to wrap around, create tension by pulling it towards your face in an up and down motion. Once it starts to wrap, you can bring it all the way up to the root and let it sit there for a couple seconds. Now, before you release it, make sure you're not skipping out on the cool shot. You're going to use the cooling shot button for three to five seconds, and that's going to help lock in the hair and make it last a lot longer. Once the hair is cooled, turn off the tool before pulling the hair strand out of the barrel, and then you'll be left with a gorgeous bouncing looking curl. You're going to complete this around your hair, and you're going to have the most perfect, amazing at-home blowout. I think the air app is really cool because one, it's kind of like this effortless styling tool you can really transform your hair into this stunning curl while saving time and energy. So it's an effortless style, but also it comes with minimal heat damage. The controlled airflow and regulated heat really protects your hair from excessive damage. And it's very versatile. It's not just for curls. You can do blowouts and volumize your hair with the other tools. It literally comes with so many different heads that you can throw in rotation. The possibilities are kind of endless. The Lux Air Pro 2 is a really innovative, easy product to use, and it gives you such a healthy and happy looking curl. And it does this every single time. This tool has really transformed my hair care routine and it is such a that girl hair essential. If you want to experience the magic of the Lux Air Pro 2, definitely head to my description box below and check out the link and try it for yourself. My next It Girl product, you guys already know. I rave about this product. I have like seven of these bottles in my cabinet as we speak. This is the Away Leave-In Conditioner. I love this thing. Nothing has made my hair smell so good for so long about this product. As soon as I get out of the shower, I will spray my hair in this. I kid you not, three days later, I will go to smell my hair and it still smells like this thing. Even through all the styling tools and the brushing and the sleeping and just the going about life, like you will still be able to smell this product. It is ridiculous. I won't say that it's the most moisturizing, but it is a price that I'm willing to pay because of how great this smells. It smells like a luxury perfume. I highly recommend this product if you want your hair to smell very luxe rich. My next product to share with you guys is a hair oil by Gasu. It is their honey infused hair oil. I have seen so many people talk about this for years. I want to say this went viral on TikTok, maybe like last year or the year before, but everyone in their mothers was showing this product. And I really didn't want to pick it up because I had hair oils at home. And to me, it was just like, how much different can one hair oil be from another? And the answer is so freaking different because I would always swear by the Olaplex oil, which I still do really like, but the Olaplex oil reminds me of exactly that. 
it literally feels like an oil this one the fact that it's called a honey infused oil it's true to that it's such a thick oil it literally feels like honey in your hair i don't know how to explain it like you can even see the consistency of the oil is not like your typical oil like it's a lot thicker other oils will make my hair like shiny and soft but this oil will actually make my hair be that but also feel healthy and that's like a huge difference to me and i use it at least like every three days look how much you literally need the smallest pea size amount because of how thick it is i don't know i tried to steer away from this because i almost thought that this was too overhyped and you know what a product is so overhyped that you're kind of just like mm. that's how i felt about this but no it's so good next we're gonna move on into skincare now if you know you know this is bio oil i live breathe advocate for bio oil bio oil is one of those products where it just fixes everything you guys know like those random products that you just feel like fix all your problems my mom is that way for vix like anything i have oh just put vix on it i'm like my bone is broken they're like vix vapo rub one of my best friends is the same way with aloe vera anything she's like oh just put aloe vera on it i am that person when it comes to bio oil if my skin is getting a little dry i'll put bio oil if i'm breaking out i'll put bio oil i had a really really bad scar in between my breasts i was like what the hell is this okay, i had to put bio oil on it and then i kid you not the next day later it was like cleared up and i swore it was the bio oil so bio oil was great for your skin if you guys know i've talked about it before i used to suffer with really bad acne and then when my acne finally cleared up i was left with a lot of scars i am i picked at it okay and the only thing that really helped heal my scars because they were really red like really deep and so it almost felt like i still had acne because i still had you know these red splotches on my face consistently using bio oil was the only thing that lightened i know people put this on their stretch marks people use these on their dry spots the next thing that i want to talk to you guys about i actually don't have with me because i've used them all and it is the loops face mask i specifically use the pink one i love the loops face masks they are my favorite face masks to use for my pamper and self-care nights i'm somebody that i normally hate using face masks i never use it and it was because i hated scrubbing them off my skin i'm lazy i don't like to do all that unnecessary stuff and i always knew about sheet masks so i'm not really sure why i never got into them but i didn't start using them until i got the loops one and they are my favorite they're just like this jelly has like a little snail mucin type of texture to it and this face mask is so bomb it just makes you feel good i'm not gonna say that i've noticed a huge difference in like the clarity of my skin but it's just one of those things where it's just nice to do good things for yourself and things that make you feel good and that's one of them is doing a face mask for me it's amazing and it really does leave your skin feeling very hydrated after you take it off another skincare product that every single girl needs to use every single human being needs to be using and that is sunscreen this is my favorite one for my face this is the belief the true cream aqua bomb sunscreen spf 50 i like this one because it doesn't give me that white cast that some sunscreens give you this one blends into your skin really well and it's very lightweight always make sure you're wearing a sunscreen whether it's hot outside whether you can see the sun whether it's cloudy whether it's rainy you need to protect your skin from both the uva and uvb rays and your skin will thank you for it everyone should be using a sunscreen and you should be using it daily the sun really is no joke she is powerful she's strong so make sure you are protecting your skin barrier hot girls definitely double cleanse so let me share with you guys my cleansers that i use so these are the two cleansers that i use to take off my makeup obviously i'll go in with a different cleanser to wash my face i'll first go in with my dhc facial cleanser this is the deep cleaning oil this stuff is fire at melting your makeup you'll see your makeup dripping off your skin you just warm it between your fingers so it gets a little hot and then you melt it and press it against your skin this is great if you use waterproof mascara like i do or if you just use a lot of layers of product because this will kind of really break through and then once you're left kind of looking like a slimy mess you're gonna go in with your micellar cleansing water I like this one from Garnier and this one in specific is their waterproof one. Like I said, I use a lot of waterproof products. This one has no oil, no alcohol, and no fragrance. I'll take this on a little, making sure it's closed. I'll take this on a little cotton pad and I will go with probably like two cotton pads just to really make sure that all my makeup is thoroughly removed and your cotton pad will literally be drenched in like your blush and your foundation and your brow product. Like it'll be all over. It does such a great job at removing every little bit and piece. These two in combination are my favorite double cleanse and the last thing is a new favorite of mine and i also put up a picture because i used them all and it was so sad because i had another pimple breakout so i needed it and if that doesn't hint to you guys at what it is it is of course mighty patches and i really was such a skeptic when it came to mighty patches but they truly work i don't know the science behind all of it i'm not the best in like knowledge when it comes to skincare but i just know they work and that's that's good enough for me but when i say that when you take off your mighty patch you will literally see like the nastiness on the patch it's 
kind of insane and you'll notice that your pimple has gone down if it's not completely gone it'll have gone down like a couple sizes literally blends into your skin and your pimples covered and nobody can really tell that you're wearing a pimple patch now we're gonna move on into one of my favorite categories which is makeup so the first product that i'm going to talk to you guys about is just like an overarching one and it's just hydrating concealers my two favorites at the moment are actually two new ones in my collection the first one is the hourglass vanish concealer oh my goodness i have seen people talk about this for forever it's kind of like the gasu hair oil that i was mentioning people always talk about this and i just kind of was like it's a concealer no she is in a league of her own this has to be one of the best concealers i've ever used in my life in the way that it blends how thick it is yet how natural of a finish it gives you never going back this is a staple in my collection i will never not own this concealer let me just say that but another hydrating concealer that i recently got this is her hydrating long wear concealer she did her thing with the hydrating concealer it's exactly like the hourglass one in terms of creaminess and blendability if you're thinking about picking up the hydrating concealer it is great once again does the same thing it's very full coverage blends out very easily and i did get one a couple shades lighter so what i'll do is i'll put this one down and then put a couple dots of this one on top i'm not going to talk about this too much but get yourself a good face primer i live by face primers i know a lot of people think that they're a gimmick and they don't really make a difference but i personally do see a difference not really in the long wear of my makeup but just in how my makeup applies finish of it i will use this primer by refi and i like this one because it's very lightweight on the skin and I also really like the applicator because you can roll it out and really sculpt your face. Now, when it comes to my skin tints, I've recently been using this one. This one is by the brand Beauty Blender. What I do like about this skin tint is it's a lot thicker. So it's almost more of like on that foundation end of things, but without being an actual really thick foundation. This is just a great skin tint if you want something a little bit more full coverage, but still very light on your skin. Blush, that's it. Just blush, period. It doesn't matter what blush you use. Real Hot Girls Over Blush. My favorite blush is is the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm. It's amazing. And my favorite blush to use with it is this Fenty Beauty Moscow Mule Ginger Binge Highlighter. This is the kilowatt highlighter, but it's amazing as this very rosy blush. I'm wearing it today, but a good blush combo. That's that's the tea. Like two baddies. Hey, bitch, what a baddie friend. With a baddie friend. I have really been into the laminated brow look. I don't even think I can fill in my eyebrows without laminating them first anymore. When I say staple in my routine, this is actually a staple. I can't not use it anymore. This is the e.l.f. brow lift. I love this stuff. This is an amazing product. e.l.f. knows what they're doing with the dupes. Next thing, inner corner highlight. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that TikTok where the guy was like talking about how guys think it's very attractive when girls put the little inner corner highlight. And although I am a woman, I wholeheartedly agree. Like just from a girl's point of view, I think think that when people have the inner corner highlight, I don't know what it is, no matter who it is, it just looks so good and it really brings out this extra pop and this like doe-eyed look. This is my favorite. This is by Wet n Wild. It is in the shade Blossom Glow, but this is one of the products that I've always wanted to gatekeep, but I do want people to buy it so that they never stop making it. It has this pinky undertone to it. So good. I also highly recommend this e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. This is going to give you a nice sheen and shine glow to your skin and it's kind of this glow from within look it's gonna give you like a little bit of coverage but not really coverage at all and it's perfect i love to use this on its own like if i go to the beach or something and it just gives me that kind of glow within but also it works great underneath makeup underneath the skin tint underneath the foundation this gives you that extra glow and that extra mm, holy girl favorite another that girl product the white eyeliner i don't care what anybody says i'm not letting go of it i know people are like oh that alex Earl trend like it's it's been gone it's not a trend to me it's a lifestyle i love the white eyeliner look it just makes your eyes look Looks so doughy and really pop. This one is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk. I will apply it to my lower lash line. And like I said, it will really just give me such a doll eyed look and it adds that extra mm. And the last makeup product that I'm gonna share with you guys is, of course, you have to have a good lip balm. Like you cannot have crusty lips. And I'm a victim to this. My lips get chopped so easily. Like it's not even funny. And so I know that like one of these days, like somebody's gonna clock me in public, but hopefully it won't be soon because I always have my little lip balms on deck. This is the one that I'm gonna with you guys today because it was the easiest it was just right behind me but this is the summer fridays lip butter balm in the shade brown sugar i love this one i'm wearing it on my lips and nothing else i think it's very very complimenting i will say my favorite lip balm like of all time is the laneige one the squeezy tube in the shade berry is my favorite as well as the summer fridays one in the shade pink sugar the next category that we're gonna go into is hygiene i think you guys know i had to talk about this product this is the therabreath mouthwash i have been using therabreath for 
literal years it really does help with morning breath doing a cat full at night and a cat full in the morning like you will notice such a big difference i do like to use this in combination with a regular mouthwash too so i use both like a listerine but this is great it strengthens your teeth it helps with your enamel it really fights bad breath i just like this for the overall health of my actual teeth so yes i love me some their breath i also love to use coconut oil coconut oil i honestly use for everything coconut oil is kind of like bio oil in that it is so multi-purpose and you can use for just about anything when it comes to self-care and hygiene i take coconut oil to shave i use coconut oil as an extra lotion you use coconut oil to cook and i will also use coconut oil to swish in my mouth and oil pool just coconut oil in general is just a go of a product you really do have to pick up some coconut oil okay i know i said like oh this is the that girl product to everything this is the that girl product boric acid suppositories i don't know if you guys have ever seen that trend on tiktok where it was like products that i wish i knew about sooner this is that for me i never knew about boric acid suppositories until i want to say sometime last year and ever since i figured out about them i just can't live without them using them when you need a freshening up i personally use them after i'm done with my cycle and so these things are great they support your balance down there they support the odor control and just really help with your intimate health and just keeping everything in check so basically what it is it's this little like capsule it looks like this like a little pill but you don't take this orally you take this tampon looking thing it's literally like a little tampon shell you put the pill in there and then you insert it exactly like a tampon and you do this right before you go to bed and then you sleep with it in these suppositories are actually beneficial for you when you need to use them and when you're thrown off and you need your balance kind of in check so good i wish i knew about this hygiene product sooner it would have helped me so much and the last category i'm going to go into is my that girl random essentials the first one being my alex Earl light this is it i am obsessed with this light i've put so many people on it like not enough for it to be called like the michaela wagner light but i've told so many of my friends about this because i think it is so handy whether you like to film content so you're somebody that likes to film YouTube videos or TikToks or whether you and your girls like to like get cute and go to dinner and just want to take pictures at the restaurant, this thing will get you the most fire photos. It's literally a ring light, but it's like portable. I just absolutely love this light. I will have it linked down below. I think it is perfect whether you're a content creator or whether you and your friends just like to take photos for fun or like if you're going on vacation and you and your family want to take photos, it is just so great. My next little random essential is definitely having a water bottle. I'm not even going to go into it because I think people will beat your eardrums out out talking about how much water is important to have but making sure that you are constantly drinking your water and getting a good intake of it because it's going to help you both internally and externally you know like i said that girl is always shining so whether you want your skin to be glowing or you want to have energy and just feel good from the inside out you want to make sure you're having a good amount of water and so i always like to have a water bottle that's kind of motivating for me to get my water intake in okay i know i said everything else was the hot girl essential but i actually mean it for this one like this this is the hot girl essential and it is a digital camera i know you guys have seen the digital camera takeover that has been on social media recently every single person is using a digital camera and I feel like there's two different styles of digital cameras there's that more vintage digital camera style and it gets you super cute vintage looking photos early 2000s style of photos where it's not like super clear and it's a little bit like rustic and if you really like that vibe luckily those cameras can be on the more affordable side and when I'm trying to get like my baddie photos <laughs> I will use this camera this is my Canon G7X this is the typical camera that you see everyone talking about it is definitely on the more pricey side and i'm sure you can find a camera that fits your budget that gives you kind of the look that you want but me personally i really love this one and if you're interested in getting the canon g7x i will always be the first person to recommend it i actually have had a couple friends buy the canon g7x just because of my recommendations for it i feel like if you're only using it to take instagram photos i don't know if it's like completely worth it but if you're also somebody that wants to be like a vlogger and you want to take content for youtube or tiktok or anything like that that. this is really nice because it's very portable you can put it in a small purse or a little backpack or anything i promise the photos on this are insane how crisp they are how clear they are i mean it's so expensive a camera like it better be but at the same time it just the photos come out like a different level of niceness i don't know if you're just looking for a nice camera to invest in and you want quality photos the g7x is going to be the best one in my opinion so the next product i have to share with you guys is self tanning self tanning has really changed the game for me in terms 
terms of my confidence. I don't even know how to explain it, but I feel a different level of confidence when I tan and I feel like to non tanners, that sounds insane. But if you tan, like if you know, you know, this is my favorite tanning product to use. It is the loving tan. I like to use just the regular one, but at the moment I have the platinum one. The loving tan self tanner is the best. I don't care. I've tried so many different self tanners and I will always come back to the loving tan one. Nothing will get me that perfect, like olive complexion, like the loving tan one. I feel like other tanners either don't get me tan enough or I'm too orange or it just like looks unnatural on me. It doesn't have that green sheen. Do loving tan. It is the best. Okay guys, that was it for today's video. I do hope you all enjoyed watching my hot girls don't gank you, that girl essentials. Just products that have made my life a whole lot better. I do hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did like it, make sure to give me a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below so I know to film more of these. Whether you have these products or not, just know as long as you are confident and you have that energy and that glow from within, you are that girl. I love you guys oh so, so much and I will talk to you in my next one.